Hi, good morning. Oh, it's Shenyun. I'll take 20 off the stock. We sell whatever's popular in the market. You're here. Come take a look. Thanks. Come on in. All right. Hey, Shenyun, look at this one. Compare it with that. They're quite close in style, but the wholesale price is cheap. And you can mark it up. That lady there, she bought the same one. Look at it. Hey, boss, I'll take 10 of these. Oh, okay. The quality's not good. Is this a knockoff? Well, so what if it is? Most customers won't see the difference. Take it, mix it in with the real ones. I swear, you'll make some money. Boss, I'll take 20 of these. Oh, all right. Okay, now, here you are. Okay. Hey, thank you, but I want the real one. Sure. It's good material, the craftsmanship. It's exquisite, and it's very comfortable. It's great. How much is it? 218 yuan. Well, you know, if you can drop the price to 150, then we'll take it, all right? We sell all genuine products. The price can't change. Forget it, then. Uh, one moment. I'd very much like to make this sale, but I just can't sell it for what you've asked. How's this? I round it down to 210? Just listen, we've made our offer. For 150, we'll buy it now. If not, we'll go look elsewhere. But listen, you get what you pay for. Just compare it. The workmanship and material are superb. No, just forget yeah. about it. Hey, let's go across the street. If she won't drop the price, forget it. Hey. You're back. So, how was business? Oh, that's all we made? I'll get the bike. Mm -hmm. Again? Is it broken? Get it fixed tomorrow. What's going on? Oh, uh, hey, Lynn. Hi. Scooter busted? <sighs> Same old problem. Lynn, your car, is it new? <laughs> Just got it. Like it? Hey, you know what? Come on in. I'll give you a ride home. Uh, no, no thanks. thanks. Why so polite? Come on in, you two. Uh, no, no thanks. Really? No, really. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Then I'm leaving. Okay. okay. Let's go. Lin's business just keeps growing. First he bought a house, and now he has a new car. What about us? If we don't think of something, we're gonna have to close. Take it easy. Sorry, ma'am. I'm in a rush. Hey, Ms. Liu, here's your clothes. Thanks. Careful. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Careful. Hey, Shen Yu, hmm? how's your business lately? Business is the same. Shen Yu. Yeah. I know you and your husband are honest, but being honest isn't such a good thing in business. I said this long ago. Being as straightforward as you are, you'll never make much money. You must be flexible. Ms. Liu, I do get what you mean. But selling poorly made items, I just don't think my conscience will let me. Conscience? <sighs> How much is conscience worth? In these times, doing business with a conscience, that will bankrupt you. What is it that we work so hard for every single day? Isn't it to make some money? We want to make more money too, but if we have to... Have to what? We're not stealing from anyone. We're just thinking of some ways to earn more. Now what could be wrong with that? Buying and selling's like, like Zhu Yu beating Huang Gai. 
One wants to hit, the other to be hit. In these times, true success is making money. Who cares how you get it? Xinyu, take a look at these bills. Which one did I earn with a clean conscience and which one did I not? Can't tell, can you? In the world that we live in, this is what everyone does. You won't survive if you don't keep with the times. Zha Zha's starting primary school. Just wait, you'll need a lot more money in the future. Even if you're not worried about yourself, you have to think about Zha Zha. Thank you. Come again. Hey, excuse me. Oh, Shen Yu. I'll take 20. Oh, sure. As I said before, this should sell well. I'll take this one. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good day. I can guarantee that you'll sleep well. <laughs> Well, I'm off. And thanks. You're welcome. Stop in any time. Mm, will do. The skirt is quite slimming, and every one of these stones has been inlaid by hand. Do you have anything else? Oh, take a look here. I think this would be a very good look on you. This one is no better. This is the best design in the whole store. Don't you know anything about clothes? You have awful taste. You have no idea how to sell these, do you? Just take a look at this one. This is the most popular design of the year. Hi, pardon. You might like this one. It's well made and the material is high quality. And it's a limited edition. It's quite unique, yet affordable. Oh, I don't care about price. Come. I just want unique clothes. You can rest assured no one else has this. Here, hold it up. Your complexion is light, so this shade brings out a noble quality. Believe me, go try it on. Okay. Here, this way. Just like I thought, it's perfect. Doesn't this top look like it was designed just for you? Only someone with your figure and demeanor could bring it out. This piece is not for everyone. All right then, pack it up for me. Sure, come. Hope to see you soon. Mrs. Wang, you're amazing. Here, please put these back. We have to learn how Mrs. Wang does it. You know, the state of the down comforter business. Your condition's tough. Hi, Fung. You don't want this? I'll give it to someone else. Uh, no, not so. You've taken care of me. Of course I'll do it. However, I need to make a profit as well. 
So then, how's this? What's this? If the price is this low, we won't make any money. He wants such a high commission. What he told me is so long as the outer material is pretty, we don't have to use that much down. But the quality will be awful. Were we to do this, I don't think I could live with myself. <sighs> Listen, this whole deal, it's not a good idea. That's easy to say, but business is getting harder and harder. We can't afford to offend such an important client. Besides, this is how everyone does business. We don't really have a choice. Hello, welcome. I want to see the boss. Uh, sir, what's the problem? One moment, please. There. Hello, how may I help you? You sold this to my sister. You sell fakes. You're asking to be shut down. What's going on? So what are you gonna do? Let's go see what's going on. They sell fakes. There must be some mistake. We just sell genuine products. Genuine? My college friend works in fashion. She knew at once it's a knockoff of last year's design. Huh, you sold it for 800? That is such a ripoff. Now, ma'am, there are many fashion labels. Your friend just made a mistake. This now is- Now you're lying to me? What is this? You won't admit it? Thank you, thank you. Shame on you, ugh. Oh, hey, my friend, come. Calm down. I'm not your friend. Who are you? I'm the boss here. You're the boss? If there's a problem, let's talk. But don't go. Do I get a refund or not? I'll destroy this place! Oh. Give me a refund now! Let's go. No wonder their prices are so low. If you no longer want the clothes, I'll give you a refund. But you both should know this impacts my business. Huh. Now you realize it impacts your business? Just what were you thinking? This happens when you sell knockoffs. <sighs> she doesn't look like she sells knockoffs. You can't tell just by looking at them, you know? Don't buy any of this stuff. They're all knockoffs. They claim to be sincere, and then they go and rip people off. Let's not come back here again. Why would we come here again? <laughs> It's just, for years, we've been lying to our customers. We have made some money, but I feel uneasy a lot of the time. As if I'm going against my conscience. In business, we still need to be honest. If we make money with tricks, we'll not last very long. Over the long term, they'll know. They'll all see right through us. How can we stay in business? I've been thinking about these things too. We do business like everyone else, and my heart truly feels uneasy. But if we really do business honestly, we can't make much money at all. And with the bribes we must pay officials, we won't make anything at all. It's hard. Captain Song. You sold it for 800?
Are there lots like that? If not, I can't collect much in fines, and that is not interesting. <laughs> Come now. There's much more. I know there's a problem with those down comforters Chen Haifang sold to, Rong King Company. And that would guarantee huge fines. Oh yeah? Then tell me some more. Hey, what's this all about? I don't know. Let's go see. Uh, Captain! Captain! What's going on? We received a tip that your store sells shoddy down comforters. Our finding is that it's true. These are the results. See for yourselves. We also received tips that some of the other goods in your store are knockoffs, too. We must check it all. That's why there are so many. Everyone clear the shop. Official government business out, out. Pack it all. All these knockoffs. Stop watching. Yes, you. Get everything boxed up. Yes, sir. Stop watching. Pack it all. Captain Song, there must be a misunderstanding. Yes, Captain. If there's a tip, I must check it out. Might there be someone you've offended? Get those hanging over there. Hurry up. Okay. Hey, you. Get those boxed up. Yes, sir. You too. Uh, Go upstairs. Okay. Uh, Captain. Uh, help me Please. out. Please. I promise I'll make it up to you. Indeed. Just this once. Help me. Just let this go. This is from the Bureau. I'm just carrying out orders. Here's your notice. Your business must close. Sign it now. Go take those hang in there. Grab their license, now? Yes, sir. But... Get these boxes in the car. Yes, sir! Chen Haifeng, come with us to the bureau. Let's go. Haifeng. Haifeng. Stop looking. Let's go. Tell me why it's 
Hello? Jaying? What? Are you back now? Oh, okay. Then I'll see you at the reunion. Have a drink. Oh, next, next time. time. Don't drink too much. Hey, Jaeyin, shall we go talk outside? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me, how has business been lately? Well, if you really want to know how it's been, it's hard to tell it quickly. Well, at first, we tried doing business honestly. Hi, Shinyu. Hmm. We worked hard every day, but barely earned a thing. While others cheated their customers and made quite a bit. It made us feel like the world was full of evil. Indeed. One can't run a business without a few tricks. We didn't want to stay poor, so we did what others in business do. These past years, we've made some money, but I always feel so uneasy about it. When you add in the intense competition and industry squabbling, the arbitrary taxes and extortion from officials, it's been quite a frustrating, difficult journey. The last few years must have been so hard for you. In the past, when we were poor, I admired people with money. I thought I would be happy once I had some. Now that I have money, I still don't feel happy. Yeah. What I feel more of is emptiness and pain. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, how can I escape from this emptiness and pain? How can I live a meaningful life? Shinyu, all that you've said is true. I've had similar experiences. Oh? My husband and I opened a shipping company and a restaurant, and we went through a lot. We saw the lack of justice wherever the CCP rules. Corrupt officials are everywhere. Everything requires a bribe. Indeed. In China, putting food on the table through honest work is just impossible. To make money, you must have the right relationships. You have to play tricks and bribe officials too. <sighs> it's hard for honest people to survive here. Back then I'd think, why is this world so filled with evil? Where is there fairness and justice? Later, I found God and read a lot of God's words. I discovered that God's words clearly and practically explain so much about life. I began to grasp the truth and gradually I started to understand the world of men. Oh my, you're saying belief in God helps us to understand life. That's such wonderful news. Yes. Last year, a friend preached the gospel to me. Really? Hmm. She said that God created the heavens and earth as well as all mankind. She said that God nourishes mankind, that God rules and presides over mankind's fates, and will repay each person according to his deeds. When I heard those words, they sounded great, and I wanted to believe, but my business kept me too busy. So I thought I would later. Now I hear you've started first. Yes. Now, Jaying, you said God's words explain many aspects of life in a very clear way. Hmm. I'd love to read God's words. I have some time today. Can we talk about it? Sure. We can discuss it at my house. Great. I'll bring Haifeng. Good. Let's go. Terrific. Thank you. Shenyu, Haifeng, I'm glad you're both here. You asked why people are so corrupt and what the root of our pain in life is. To start, let's look at God's word and see what we learn. Great. Great. Adam and Eve, created by God in the beginning, were holy people. Which is to say, whilst in the Garden of Eden, they were holy, untainted with filth. They were also faithful to Jehovah and knew nothing of the betrayal of Jehovah. This is because they were without the disturbance of the influence of Satan, were without Satan's poison, and were the purest of all mankind. They lived in the Garden of Eden, undefiled by any filth, unpossessed by the flesh, and in reverence of Jehovah. Later, when they were tempted by Satan, they had the poison of the serpent, 
and the desire to betray Jehovah, and they lived under the influence of Satan. Born into such a filthy land, man has been severely blighted by society. He has been influenced by feudal ethics, and he has been taught at institutes of higher learning. The backward thinking, corrupt morality, mean view on life, despicable philosophy, utterly worthless existence, and depraved lifestyle and customs. All of these things have severely intruded upon man's heart and severely undermined and attacked his conscience. As a result, man is ever more distant from God and ever more opposed to Him. Even when they hear the truth, those who live in darkness give no thought to putting it into practice. Nor are they inclined to seek out God, even if they have beheld His appearance. How could a mankind so depraved have any chance of salvation? How could a mankind so decadent live in the light? Amen. And now, how's this? We can look at two videos. They're both readings of God's words. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Satan corrupts people through the education and influence of the national governments and the famous and great. Their nonsense has become man's life and nature. Everyone for himself and the devil take the hindmost is a well-known satanic saying that has been instilled into everyone and has become the human life. There are some other words of life philosophy that are also like this. Satan educates people through each nation's fine traditional culture and causes humanity to fall into and be engulfed in an expansive abyss of destruction. And in the end, people are destroyed by God because they serve Satan and resist God. Satan uses these social trends to lure people one step at a time into a nest of devils, so that people caught up in social trends unknowingly advocate money and material desires, as well as advocate wickedness and violence. Once these things have entered man's heart, what then does man become? Man becomes the devil, Satan. This is because of what psychological leaning in the heart of man? What does man advocate? Man begins to like wickedness and violence. They do not like beauty or goodness, much less peace. People are not willing to live the simple life of normal humanity but instead wish to enjoy high status and great wealth, to revel in the pleasures of the flesh, sparing no effort to satisfy their own flesh with no restrictions, no bonds to hold them back. In other words, doing whatever they desire. In this way, man becomes more and more evil, arrogant, condescending, selfish, and malicious. There is no longer any affection between people, no longer any love between family members, no longer any understanding between relatives and friends. Human relations have become full of violence. Every single person wants to use violent methods to live in amongst their fellow man. They seize their own livelihood using violence they win their positions and obtain their own profits using violence. And they do anything they want using violent and evil ways. Is this humanity not terrifying? Oh, amazing. These words are so clear. That's right. That is just how our society is. Most people will deceive and use each other just over money in their own interests. It's right. true. These words clearly express the darkness in our society. Mm. But there's some I still don't understand. Ah. 
So I'd like you to explain yeah, it. okay. The reason that the world is so dark and that mankind is so evil and cruel has to do with Satan's corruption. Mm -hmm. At first, Satan used lies to deceive people. People believed Satan's lies, betrayed God, and lived under Satan's domain. For many years, Satan has used the absurd, theories and lies made up by kings of devils, great men, and famous people to deceive and harm mankind. Things like evolution, atheism, and so on. Also thoughts like, there's never been a savior, your fate's in your own hands, and man can conquer nature. Each man for himself and the devil take the hindmost. Man dies for wealth like birds for seed. Money is above all and more. These sayings are so popular in society. That's right. Satan uses national education, media channels, and the transmission of culture in order to inundate people with these evil theories. Once people accept these satanic poisons and principles, they deny God's existence, refuse to believe that God rules over all things, deny that God provides for and nourishes man, and can't accept that step by step, God does the work of redeeming and of saving mankind and leads man forever forward. Mankind hates the truth that comes from God and so rejects God's salvation and instead follows satanic ideas and logic, which leads man to become ever more corrupt, to worship money, status, as well as fame. To attain all these things, man will fight man, scheme and squabble, and sometimes kill. Parents and children, husbands and wives, even families will deceive and betray one another, or even become enemies. So tell me, when folks live like this, even if somehow they're able to gain what they want, will they ever feel joy or happiness? No way. No way. That's right. When people won't listen to God's words, when they betray God and instead live by Satan's lies, then they come under Satan's domain, are corrupted, harmed by Satan. This is the root of mankind's emptiness and pain. You know, in the past, I would think of those popular sayings as personal mottos, but now I see there really is a problem with them. Indeed. Stated like that, these sayings are preposterous. They're sinister. It's just like in business. People in the past would proclaim, deal honestly with all. They obeyed their conscience. But people today don't value that. So long as it gets mice, who cares if the cat's black or white? Money equals power, and it matters not how you get it. So the world is such an evil place because Satan has corrupted mankind. That's right, especially in China. The CCP has always used lies and violence to govern. As in, repeat a lie enough times, it becomes truth. Chinese society is chock full of lies, violence, and fraud. It's a huge mess. Wherever you look, there is corruption, pay-to-play schemes, violence, and strife. In the midst of all these evil worldly trends guided by Satan and the CCP, people are inundated, people are infected, then blindly follow social trends, and ultimately, they're swallowed and they end up being punished in hell. Xinyu, Haifeng. The Bible prophesies great disasters in the last days that will extinguish this fully corrupted mankind. Right now, we are in the last days and God has come to express the truth and to save mankind. God's words open the mystery of God's management plan to save man and the mysteries of life have been revealed to mankind. God will reveal how Satan corrupts mankind, as well as how God saves mankind. What's most meaningful for man to pursue, and mankind's final ending and destination as well as many other things. If we come before God and read more of God's word, we can grasp the truth and see clearly the true face of Satan. We'll be able to reject Satan's evil and absurd sayings and instead live by God's word. We can gain God's blessings and protection, attain salvation, then we can survive the great disaster. Xinyu, Haifeng, are not the words and work of God in the last days such great news for us all as people? Indeed. Yes. Since I've heard you explain it, I understand. Our only path 
is belief in God, or we'll be harmed by Satan. Belief in God is better. Thanks to God. Yes. In the past, I felt certain that God does exist. Reading God's words, I am now more certain than ever. God can save mankind from torment and bring people light. I really have to believe. Thanks to God. What great news. Without faith, no matter what we may have, our hearts will be empty. Hmm. I think believing in God is good Thanks too. Thanks be to God. Wonderful. Xiaying, was the book you were reading really the word of God? Indeed. Here we have God's utterances and words for all mankind. These words are truly amazing. Can we borrow this book so we may read it? We don't grasp much yet. But if we read more of God's word, we'll grasp things in the world more clearly and better understand how to believe in God. Xinyu, you're correct. If we believe in God, we must read God's word. Only grasping truth can guide our belief in God and teach us how to obey God's will and how to attain God's salvation. Take the book so you may read it at home. If you read it and understand, then you can keep the book. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> Thanks be to God. Perfect. so much in my heart I want to say to you through your words my heart's door open I heard your voice your words are truth nourishing my heart like spring water thinking of your words my heart's bright at peace joy ease I have now understood the truth through practicing your words, I see your righteous, holy, true love in your words. Lately, at meetings with our brothers and sisters, I've seen how they go about being honest in their lives. If they should lie, they pray to God to seek truth. They can reveal themselves and correct their lies. They live with such ease and freedom. I admire them. Yeah. Since we've been believing, though we are a bit better and don't deceive like we used to, at times we can't resist temptation. When I think of it, I feel ever so guilty. Hey, at recent meetings, the fellowship has been about honesty. I think this is important. Should you and I read and fellowship on it? Sure. Almighty God says, you ought to know that God likes an honest man. God has the substance of faithfulness, and so his word can always be trusted. Furthermore, his actions are faultless and unquestionable. This is why God likes those who are absolutely honest with him. Honesty means to give your heart to God never to play him false in anything, to be open with him in all things, never hiding the truth, never to do that which deceives those above and deludes those below, and never to do that which merely ingratiates yourself with God. In short, to be honest is to refrain from impurity in your actions and words, and to deceive neither God nor man. Behaving like a normal human being is to speak with coherence. Yes means yes. No means no. Be true to the facts and speak appropriately. Don't cheat. Don't lie. My kingdom requires those who are honest, not hypocritical, and not deceitful. Aren't the sincere and honest people unpopular in the world? I am just the opposite. It is acceptable for the honest people to come to me. I delight in this kind of person. I also need this kind of person. This is precisely my righteousness. How one's fate will work out in the end hinges upon whether 
he has an honest and blood-red heart, and whether he has a pure soul. If you are someone who is very dishonest, someone with a heart of malice, and someone with an unclean soul, then the record of your fate is certainly in the place where man is punished. If you claim to be very honest, and yet never manage to act in accordance with the truth, or to speak a word of truth, then are you still waiting for God to reward you? Do you still hope for God to regard you as the apple of His eye? Isn't this a preposterous way of thinking? You deceive God in all things. So how can the house of God accommodate one such as you, whose hands are unclean? When we fellowshiped these parts of God's word, I was filled with a strong sense of self-blame, especially when I read this. You ought to know that God likes an honest man. God has the substance of faithfulness, and so his word can always be trusted. Furthermore, his actions are faultless and unquestionable. This is why God likes those who are absolutely honest with him. I realized that God is faithful and holy too. God likes honest people and hates deceivers. God's kingdom only accepts the honest. People who often lie and deceive can't enter God's kingdom. It's been years that we've earned our money through being deceitful. We've ignored our consciences and cheated our customers. When our lies are exposed, we do nothing but argue to cover them up. We've been so shameless. Where is our character and dignity? Listen, if we do not make a change, we'll be sent to perdition and extinguished. We can't continue lying just to earn dirty money. We should be honest and conform to God's requirement. That way we can live in peace and security and gain God's blessings. What do you think? You're quite right. God requires honesty in walking the right path, so we should accept and obey. Yes. To make money these last few years, we both learned to lie and deceive others. And nobody should be doing that. I also think, if we believe in God, we should pursue honesty. But, maybe we can be honest within the church, but I don't think it's possible out in the real world. Society is so dark, without some tricks up our sleeves, we can't make any money. If I cannot be honest, I feel so uneasy, and God despises me. So I'm conflicted. I've also thought about those things. Doing business is hard these days. Let's say we act according to our conscience. Money might be quite tight at times, but God will like and approve of all that we are doing. If we strive to be honest and follow God's word, we'll shed our satanic disposition, escape Satan's harms, and gain salvation. Don't you agree? If we keep doing what we did before, in order to make money, if we're dishonest, if we cheat and deceive others, then we're failures as human beings. We won't be purified. We'll never attain salvation. We won't enter God's kingdom. That's right. Honesty is required by our faith. If we're not honest, we're denied salvation. So why bother believing? Hmm. Yes. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Fellowshipping like this is very beneficial. If we both keep this up, I'm sure we'll gain God's approval. What are you so happy about? Good news, obviously. Here. 
The Weihua factory wants 300 wool quilts? That's right. That's great. Look at this. Mr. Wei himself is sending the order. It's a bit cheaper with him. We've never done business with Mr. Wei before. I hope he's reliable. Hai Fang, Xin Yu, you're here. Mrs. Liu, ah, have, have some, some coffee. coffee. All right. You two can talk. I have to okay, do inventory. Go ahead. Hi, sir. Hello. Hey, Xin Yu. Yeah? There's a favor I'd like to ask you. What is it? Feel free. There's a problem with my last shipment. With all the shoes, can't sell them. It's almost the October Golden Week. Can you help me get rid of them on your website? Well, uh... What's wrong? Is there a problem? Mrs. Liu, we don't sell goods like that anymore. I still feel like we have to be honest in business. That's how we'll win our customers' trust and put our conscience at ease. Conscience? <laughs> Shin Yu, now that you believe in God, you're sure getting some lofty ideals. Uh, Mrs. Forget it. I won't trouble you more. <laughs> Mrs. Liu, your cough still sounds bad. Shouldn't you go to the hospital? What's going on with this Mr. Wei? What is it? He's still not picking up? Let's go see him at his shop. All right, let's go. How much do you want to bet that all these houses are in the sheep are crazy? Where is he? This guy has me big. Hey, excuse me. You have no idea. Uh, sir, what's going on? Hey, you gave a deposit and got nothing? Yeah. I'm in the same boat, so what now? You too? Why won't we open? What can I do? Open up! Where? Where is he? Somebody must have Anybody have somebody must know. Hey! Stop knocking. Wei's a gambler. He lost it all. He's long gone now. What? Why do I keep my family? This is so twisted! What are we gonna do? What's happening? What are we gonna do? I don't know what to do. Hey, watch it. Watch it. So much money. So my 20,000 is gone? Like that? He owes me 100,000! This way is a monster! Oh, come on. You think that us. you got problems? You know, Wei ordered hundreds of wool quilts from me. And he only paid a third. Oh, me too. He really screwed me. No. What do I do hey, now? Uh, excuse me. Huh? I'm Chen Haifong. Do you have any wool quilts in stock? Yeah, we overheard what you were saying. Yeah. Could we see them? Mr. Gao, how many are in stock? About 150. That's not enough. See, Mr. Gao. We have a delivery tomorrow. Can you think of any way to make 150 more for us? Please. I'm sorry. I'm all out. Uh, uh, then do you have anything yeah, else? Maybe there's another way? Well, I do have another batch here that might take care of what you need. Listen, I still think we should take Mr. Gao's other batch. It'll get us out of a jam. But those are shoddy goods. We swore an oath to God to pursue honesty. This is falling for temptation. How could we attain God's approval like this? We'll just have to think of some other way. We have a delivery tomorrow. What other way do you think's out there? It's true that we want to be honest, but these are special circumstances. If we can't meet the delivery deadline, we'll have to pay breach fees. It's just, you know that we don't usually sell fake goods. Doing it once in a while, how could that hurt us? <sighs> okay then, we'll do it just this once. We can't do it again in the future. <laughs> Fine. Hello? Yes? What? Cancer? For years, I've been busy making money. 
living just for money. And I earned money. I never once thought. There, there. I just earned so much dishonest money. And then I got this disease. <laughs> Stay calm. Shinya. Yes? Once you're on your deathbed, you understand everything. Earning all the world's money is utterly useless. Hey, Shinyu, let's go. You know, getting sick, it made her speak the truth. Listen, Mrs. Liu's cancer, I think it's a warning to us. Yes. Here out, we have to be more honest and not violate our consciences. Yes. I really don't feel secure about the way we handled all that business with Wei Hua. I know. Maybe we can take the goods back? How can we? We already delivered them. You really want me to tell the truth? We used shoddy goods to fill the order and deceive them. We were not being trustworthy. How can we pray to God about this? But if we tell the truth, it's more than paying money. Wei Hua could actually sue us. Then we'd be in for it. For now, how about we do this? We pray and admit our sins, ask for forgiveness, and never do this again. Still awake? Hai Feng. Yeah? I found some of God's words that we should look at together. Oh, okay. Almighty God says, Do you think nothing will happen to you after you've cheated someone out of money? Do you think that after having tricked them out of money, there will be no consequences for you after you've taken their money? That would be impossible, and there will be consequences. Regardless of who they are, or whether or not they believe that there is a God, every person must take responsibility for their behavior and bear the consequences of their actions. If you engage in deception and crookedness in the future, do not pretend to not understand. That is just to knowingly do wrong, to be even more guilty. This will only lead to you being burnt by the fire, or even worse, ruining yourselves. For the sake of your fate, you ought to seek to be approved by God. That is to say, since you acknowledge that you are numbered among the house of God, you ought then to bring peace of mind to God and satisfy Him in all things. In other words, you must be principled in your actions and conform to the truth in them. If this lies beyond your ability, then you shall be detested and rejected by God and spurned by every man. Once you have fallen into such a predicament, you cannot then be counted among the house of God. This is what it is meant by not being approved by God. After reading those words, I see that God's disposition is righteous, holy, and brooks no offense. 
God repays man according to all his actions. We've relied on lying and deception to make money. It's treacherous and dishonest, and God loathes these things. Those who often lie are really devils. So, when they die, they are punished in hell. Hear this. We both need to repent. If we compromise ourselves, how can we escape our corrupt dispositions and become honest people? I see you're right. We knew the truth, yet we betrayed it anyway. That insults God's name. It's an even greater sin. We need to practice the truth and strive for honesty. Hmm. Thanks to God. Let's go to the factory and tell Mr. Liu. Yeah. I trusted you with my business. How could you cheat me with those shoddy goods? Mr. Liu, we understand, and we're very sorry. So this time, we want to give genuine goods. We also want to give you this breach compensation. Yes. We accept responsibility for this. Right. Sir, the car is ready. Listen, we'll talk some more tomorrow. I have urgent business to deal with. Sweet, crispy apples. Hey, we would like some. All right. Brother. Yeah? There are lots of people at the meeting. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, okay. Here, thank you. Thanks. Fresh fruit, fresh fruit. Even though I don't know what will happen, I feel so much better because I know that I've told Mr. Liu the truth. Thanks to God. Practicing truth is a source of peace and enjoyment. It is. Through these experiences, I see that my spiritual stature is too small. I know very well God likes honest people and hates deceivers. We all should say what we mean and mean what we say, not trick God or other people. Yes. I swear before God to be an honest person. And yet, the moment when money is involved, why do I involuntarily deceive others? I'd like you to fellowship with me on this. Okay. Yeah. All right. If our views on what's important in life haven't changed, and we still seek wealth and immaterial things, it's quite hard to practice the truth. That's, That's, really That's an excellent point. Brothers and sisters, that is correct. It's related to people's views on life and satanic nature. God's word speaks very clearly about this. So let's look at some of God's words. All okay. right. Money makes the world go round is the philosophy of Satan and it prevails among the whole of mankind, among every human society. You could say that it is a trend because it has been imparted to everyone and is now affixed in their heart. As you progress from objecting to this popular saying to finally accepting it as truth, your heart falls completely under Satan's grasp. And therefore, you unwittingly come to live by it. To what degree has this saying affected you? You might know the true way, you might know truth, but you are powerless to pursue it. You might clearly know the Word of God, but you are unwilling to pay the price, unwilling to suffer to pay the price. Instead, you would rather sacrifice your own future and destiny to go against God to the very end. No matter what God says, no matter what God does, no matter how much you realize that God's love for you is deep and great, you would still stubbornly stay the course and pay the price for this saying. That is to say, this saying already controls your behavior and your thoughts. And you would rather have your fate controlled by this saying than give it all up. People do this 
They are controlled by the saying and manipulated by it. Isn't this the effect of Satan corrupting man? Isn't this the philosophy and corrupt disposition of Satan taking root in your heart? Amen. Everyone for himself and the devil take the hindmost. This one phrase expresses the root of the problem. The logic of Satan has become people's lives. And no matter what they do, whether it's for some purpose or other, they're only doing it for themselves. People all think that every man for himself and the devil take the hindmost. This is the life and the philosophy of man, and it also represents man's nature. Every man for himself and the devil take the hindmost. This statement of Satan's is precisely its poison, and when internalized by man, it becomes man's nature. Satan's nature is exposed through this statement. It completely represents it. This poison becomes man's life and becomes the foundation of his existence. Corrupted humanity has been consistently dominated by this for thousands of years. Everything Satan does is for itself. It wants to surpass God, break free from God and wield power itself and possess all of the things that God has created. After man was corrupted by Satan, they became arrogant and conceited, selfish and base, and concerned solely with their own profits. Therefore, man's nature is Satan's nature. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God's words have such help. Almighty God reveals how Satan corrupts mankind. His words also show how satanic philosophy and poisons become people's nature. Agreed. It's true. It's true. Why is mankind so evil and so corrupt? It is because Satan's philosophy penetrates the hearts of people and then becomes people's nature. Almighty God also speaks clearly about how mankind has been fully corrupted. This lets us all see how we have been deceived by satanic philosophies and poisons. Yes, yes. that's, that's the truth. That's the yes. word I think that's of. Really that sounds right. Every man for himself, devil takes the hindmost. People die for wealth like birds for seed. Then there's money is above all else, and the expression, money isn't everything, but without it you're nothing. That's right. Also, officials don't make it hard for those who come bearing gifts, and there are others far worse. Yes. Yes. To be without extra wealth is like being a horse without extra mm. hay. Right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. All of us, we all hear and even use these sayings, do we not? We yes, do. Do. No. It's it's possible. Possible. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I've said them more than I can count. Me too. Falls into your mouth. This all proves that satanic philosophies and poisons have become mankind's thoughts and natures. In turn, this has twisted mankind's views on life and values. This is how mankind is corrupted by Satan. That's completely right. That's oh, just yeah, how it is. True. Today, exactly what it is. all of mankind worships wealth, status, being famous, and so wallows in sin. Everyone has become greedy, conniving, and malicious. To get money and protect their interests, they'll resort to whatever it takes, no matter what. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. 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 Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. How many today care about their reputation, not to mention conscience and character? Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, it's so just to care about. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. People will also say, how much is a conscience worth? Poverty's worse than prostitution. Also, if he gives money, He'll be my father. If she feeds me, she's my mother. Indeed. Exactly. This is the best proof of the depth of man's corruption. Yes. yes. That's, right. That's exactly right. Even when people know that it's wrong to live this way, they are powerless to escape. When tested, they can't help but follow their fleshly natures and go to any lengths for wealth, fame, and their personal interests. And what is the result? They become ever more wicked they lose their conscience and humanity and live more like devils than humans. These are the consequences of all the corruption in mankind produced by Satan's philosophies. That's, That's the consequence of Satan's poison. That is what happens to people. I understand. I couldn't practice truth when I was in trouble because I was bound and constrained by Satan's nature. How can I change my satanic dispositions? How can I get rid of my deceitful satanic nature? 
I'd like more fellowship on that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Like we need some guidance on this issue. More. Almighty God expresses the truth and does the work of judgment to resolve mankind's satanic dispositions and nature. Right. Almighty God has expressed many aspects of the truth, such as what truth and fallacy are, what is positive as well as what's negative, and how God purifies and saves man so that we can all understand the truth, tell good from bad, escape our satanic dispositions, and what comes from Satan, follow God's word, and live like true men. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Thanks to, to God. God. Many brothers and sisters have experienced God's judgment. They've gone through trials, refinement, failures, and setbacks, and have seen that the reason mankind sins is because they've accepted Satan's philosophies and poisons, which made their satanic natures, which in turn make them arrogant, greedy, and deceitful, and lead them to sin often and fall into darkness. Yeah. Therefore, they do loathe Satan and despise Satan's logic and fallacies. Amen. They see only truth can purify man and become man's life. Only God can save mankind and give a perfect destination. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. Amen. And so they are able to accept and submit to God's judgment, enter the right track of belief, and walk the right path to salvation. These are the effects of experiencing the judgment in God's words. Amen. Amen. They can accept God's judgment. So Thanks, so Thanks to God. So much. God's Amen. Words. Thanks to God. Yes. We've gone through the judgment of God's word and can see that we're deeply corrupted by Satan. Our natures are deceitful, selfish, and greedy. But as long as we accept and practice truth, all of us can change our life disposition. Amen. 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 Thanks, Thanks to, God. to God. As you all know, I was in the hardware supplies business. And then to make more money, just like everyone else, I decided to mix fake goods in with the genuine ones. And I did make money. After I believed in God, my very guilty conscience made me improve a bit. Reading God's word, I recognized God's essence is faithful. God likes honest people, and only honest people can enter his kingdom. Yes. Amen. So I swore an oath to God that I would do all business honestly and never deceive people with fake goods. Thanks, Thanks God. God. But there were huge orders, pushy customers. I feared losing customers over late deliveries, so I'd mix in knockoffs to make up the number. Each time, I swore an oath, then denied it lying to God each time. Darkness grew in my heart. My conscience accused me and I was filled with blame. I had nothing to say in prayers. I've been through the same thing. What happened? Yes. Later, two customers found some fake goods in my supply, so they insulted me and demanded compensation. I was extremely repentant. I realized God's discipline had come to me. I betrayed my conscience and received payback. So I confessed all my sins, examined myself, and swore I'd never again do anything that betrays my conscience. Thanks, Thanks to, to God. God. That's right. My brothers and sisters read me relevant passages of God's word. That gave me a path to practice. That really? is Would you read it for us? Read it for us. So okay. I'll read it. Okay. There is a simplest way to free oneself from the state, to bid farewell to one's former way of living, to say goodbye to one's previous goals in life, to summarize and analyze one's previous lifestyle, philosophy, pursuits, desires, and ideals, and then to compare them with God's will and demands for man and see whether any of them is consistent with God's will and demands, whether any of them delivers the right values of life, leads one to a greater understanding of the truth, and allows one to live with humanity and human likeness. When you repeatedly investigate and carefully dissect the various goals of life that people pursue and their various different ways of living, you will find that not one of them 
fits the Creator's original intention when He created humanity. All of them draw people away from the Creator's sovereignty and care. They are all pits into which humanity falls and which lead them to hell. After you recognize this, your task is to lay aside your old views of life, stay far from various traps, let God take charge of your life and make arrangements for you. Try only to submit to God's orchestrations and guidance, to have no choice, and to become a person who worships God. Amen. 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 I've never Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. This is amazing. Wow. These words are superb. It's true. It's true. After reading this, I reflected on myself. I knew that God likes honest people. Just they can enter the kingdom of heaven and I had sworn an oath that I'd be honest. So how come I couldn't practice it? Why? I knew quite clearly God hates and even despises deception and cheating. So why then could I not forsake the flesh? What values was I really living by? What was it that I really loved? What did I pursue? That's when I saw Money above all, money makes the world go around. These satanic philosophies and poisons were deeply rooted within my heart. That I held these thoughts as my guiding maxims, that I put money above everything else. That I believed in God, but only to gain blessings and grace. I wasn't focused on God's word, nor on accepting or practicing the truth. And I hadn't prioritized God's commission for man. How could I be a believer in God? When I think of those years, I see my belief in God wasn't important to me. I was still focused on my own interests and wealth. I did earn some money, but what did it all matter? I had more material items than before, but no peace in my heart. My conscience would accuse and blame me and I lived in greater emptiness and torment. Right. I see. I see. Look at all those government officials, celebrities, the rich and famous. They have status, luxury cars, money. They live in mansions and have unimaginable wealth. But don't they live in emptiness and torment? Yes. Yes, yes they do. And the more money and comfort people have, then the more depraved they are. They seek thrills, indulge in lust, or take drugs, and even they will kill themselves. All of those are facts. Right. 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 I just think money, status, and fame, these bring people temporary and hollow enjoyment. They will never bring anyone true happiness, and they'll never give you a perfect destination. That's true. The great disaster is nearly upon mankind. And if I still can't accept the truth, if I still pursue money, fame, and status, then I know I will be eliminated and God will cast me into perdition. It's true. Mm, that is correct. The more I think, the more I fear. I can see how deeply Satan's corrupted me, how deeply Satan's principles and logic have become rooted within my heart and become my nature. And if I don't pursue the truth, I'll never purge myself of these satanic dispositions. How will I ever gain salvation? I know. That's right. That's how every one of us should reflect. You're completely I agree. right. You really Child need to do truth. that. After all that, I prayed again to God and swore an oath to remake myself. Amen. Amen. I consciously practice honesty according to God's word, embrace God's scrutiny, cease the deception. People from other companies would come and try to order fake goods, hoping to earn profits, and I was tempted. But then I prayed to God and I sought the truth and I saw things by God's words. And that gave me the strength to overcome the temptation of money. Amen. 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 Thanks, 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 thanks to God. God. This, this is God. God. I've gone this <laughs> long without hearing all this. This, this was all God's incredible. incredible. My profits weren't as high because I ran my business honestly, but I had more customers. More importantly, I enjoyed the peace that comes from practicing truth and from being an honest person. Amen. Being this type of person, I feel upright 
I feel honorable. When you have God's protection and blessing, that's real happiness. Amen. 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 Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Through experience, I know God's words can truly purify and change people. Amen. If we practice God's words and reject Satan's philosophies and logic, we can escape being corrupted by Satan and gain God's protection and blessings. Amen. 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 Thanks, Thanks to God. God so much With God's help, I can see the experience like this. Right it's path. so practical. It's, it's extremely, extremely practical. practical. Thanks to God. Thanks be to God. This is God's love. Thanks to God. Thanks to your fellowship today, I now know how to pursue the truth and shed my satanic nature of greed and deceit. Right. 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 Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. God's work is just so practical. That's right. Just through accepting and practicing truth can we escape the control and bondage of Satan's principles and can our corrupt dispositions be purified. Amen. Only those who gain truth and gain life have truly attained salvation and gained God's approval. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Thanks be, God. be to God. I've also felt that only by living out the truth and God's word can we ever experience true peace and joy. Attaining things like wealth, status, or fame doesn't make us happy. Our spirits remain empty and tortured. Thanks to God that I have gained so much today is thanks to God's guidance. Amen. Amen. Thanks, thanks, thanks to God. 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 Our spirits will never make us happy. Thanks to God for God's guidance. I've benefited from our fellowship too. I realize that I accepted God's work in name only, for I still longed for the world and for wealth. I didn't focus on pursuing the truth. <sighs> but now I see clearly, I must be sincere in my faith. It's true. Mm -hmm. Accept the truth and practice it to escape my deceit and become an honest person whom God approves. Thanks to God. That's Thanks great. God. If we're honest and follow God's word, we have God's blessings. Amen. Yes. yes. Now we have a path to being truly honest. Amen. Amen. That's right. Thanks, Thanks to God. God. So much. Wonderful. Praise Almighty God. It this is wonderful. We do have a path. I appreciate doing business with those who value honesty. The fact that you admitted your mistake and will take responsibility is truly a rare quality. And so finding business people like you is really difficult. Therefore, I will give you both three days. You replace the missing genuine items, and I won't pursue this further. No problem. Thank you, Mr. Liu. Here on out, should we need anything else, we'll come to you. Great. Great. Thank you for your trust in us. Wow. Amen. It's so nice to see to everybody here. here. I can't exactly wait to start reading so. from the book. As we've practiced being honest according to God's word, we've told fewer and fewer lies. Amen. Amen. Amen and we've been able to be more pure with our brothers and sisters and able to reveal what's truly in our hearts. Yes. yes. Unbelievers also say we're honest and so want our business. That's right. right. I feel tremendously more secure and at peace. Me too. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. God. Thanks be to God. I've truly experienced that God's word is the truth. Amen. Amen. Living by the words of God is sublime. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be to God. That's yes. utterly right. Thanks Indeed it is. Thanks to God. In the past, we both thought that being honest might not work in the world. Right. Now we know that view is absurd. It just doesn't stand up, not even slightly. When we live by satanic philosophies, what we live out is demonic, not even human. Right. Total honesty is walking the right path. 
and it's how we gain God's protection. Amen. Amen. Thanks to God. Thanks be to God. God likes and blesses those who are always honest. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Thanks God. Amen. God. Thanks to God that such understanding and change can occur is all thanks to God's salvation. Amen. Brothers and sisters, there are a few of God's words I'd like to read together. All right. All right. Almighty God says, When people live in this world, when they live under the influence of Satan's corruption, it is impossible for them to be honest. They can only become ever more deceitful. So will we be able to exist in this world if we become honest? Will we be marginalized by others? No. We'll live as before, because we don't rely on treachery to eat food or breathe air. Instead, we rely on the breath and the life given by God to live. It's just that we have accepted the truths of God's words, and we have new rules for how we live, new life goals, which, which will lead to changes in the basis of our lives. It's, it's just that we are changing the means and the way in which we live in order to satisfy God and seek salvation. None of this has any relation to the food, clothing, and habitation of the flesh. It is our spiritual need. Amen. Thank God. The future direction will be thus. Those who gain the utterances from God's mouth will have a path to walk on earth. And be they businessmen, or scientists, or educators, or industrialists. Those who are without God's words will have a hard time taking even a single step and will be forced to seek the true way. This is what is meant by, with the truth you will walk the entire world, Without the truth, you'll get nowhere. Amen. Thank God. Thanks, Jesus. I benefit from reading His words, reading God's words every day. I understand so many truths having roots of human. I've been through trials, I've seen His face Within His words, I've gained new life So I can be an honest person I heard the voice of God And I returned before Him God's words of truth cleanse my corruption to all